Hi guys, thank you so much for joining my channel. My name is Tiff Michelle and here I'll be showing you my lovely press that I did on my hair a couple days ago. So I am a licensed cosmetologist um, with over 16 years of professional experience. Um, like most, I've probably been doing my hair my whole life and everybody else usually that I know. <laughs> I started my natural hair journey in 2013 when I decided to stop relaxing my hair. Um, I did a big chop after about a year and a half of no relaxer. So I had about three inches of new growth. Um, here you see I am using the conditioner to detangle um, my favorite brush that I showed in the picture as well walmart special it used to be two dollars and change i believe now it's about three um i usually only detangle my hair when it's wet and it has conditioner on it otherwise it is a big hassle um, as you can see that i'll point out later in the video on the side of my hair here i have a bit of traction alopecia um, I am allergic to metal and when wigs became popular, I was being hard headed and pinning them in with metal pins and ugh, just ate my scalp up. But one day I'll be due diligent and try to get my hair back growing. Um, here again, I'm just detangling more. And the slip that I get with this product is amazing. You know, it is reasonable. You can find it in pretty much any drugstore. As you can see, my hair type is, I would say, between a 4A and 4C-ish. I have quite a few textures, a little bit of heat damage. And here I'm just showing you that, you know, after you detangle, you can clearly run your hands through it. Um, I actually used a product about a month ago a new product that had avocado in it and for some reason it broke my strands of hair really bad and it caused them to split so you'll see in this video that i will also be doing a really um big trim on my hair i think i cut maybe about two to three inches um just to again promote um, the health of my hair and in later videos I'll post some previous pictures where you'll see my hair was actually a bit longer than it is now um, but I do try to continue to um, do maintenance on my hair where I trim it maybe two to three times a year so here you're going to see me apply some Mazani products that I was able to obtain from the state beauty supply locally here in Kansas City um, <laughs> I have two different products that I'm using um, that I do picture in the video as well. Um, I was going to press it that evening, but I decided, no, let me get some rest. And so I sectioned it out in four sections, put some braids and put on my silk bonnet and I went to sleep. Um, the next morning I blow dry my hair which I could not find <laughs> my comb to my blow dryer for the life of me. So I ended up just stringing it out and blow drying it that way, just kind of holding it so it wouldn't get tangled back up. But it's here nor there. Got the job done. And you'll see me here taking the braids down and putting on a bit more heat protectant. I'm just so cautious of not trying to um, over stress the hair with a lot of heat and that's why I, I don't press my hair out very frequently I guess I'll start by saying I'm not really a fan of the you know existing hair charts that we have but I would say if I had to choose um, a curl pattern maybe between 4a and 4c ish um, I do have a couple different curl patterns. They're a bit looser at the top. Like I said, I do have a little heat damage um, then towards the back. Um, but I would also say, you know, a letter doesn't truly define one's hair. You know, it, it does give you an idea somewhat of, um, of an example of what, you know, your style may look like at the end, depending on what you're trying to achieve. 
but everyone's curl pattern is beautiful and and you have to know that and also truly believe that i'm here i'm just saying you know we are definitely going to trim these ends and i got it all blown out and i am going to prepare it in i think i started off with three sections instead of four normally i'll do four but the night was becoming young and i needed to hurry the process up so here you'll see me braiding down the two sides in the front just a little bit get them out the way um, i didn't bring enough clips over there to hold all the hair down and here i am using a remington flat iron i have a cheese somewhere in a box but i moved a couple months ago i haven't unpacked everything i'm just going to use my finger to section the hair and i'm going to use my remington like i said that i got from walmart i believe it was maybe twenty dollars or so using a comb just to chase behind make sure that everything is nice and straight and as you can see here i'm explaining huh, got a lot of split ends um yeah, I'm not really sure about the product name that I used, but I do know that it was a new product that I picked up and it did have avocado in it. And I actually think I'm allergic to avocado and it did a number on my hair. So I did speed up the video. Um, you're going to see me, like I said, press out my whole head and then we'll come back a little later here showing you how I trimmed my ends. I also say while doing this on myself, I don't use any particular method. My parts are not straight. You know, obviously if I was doing this on a client, it would be much different, but on myself, you know, doing the best I can to still give you guys an idea, um, you know, that it is possible to do this on your own. Um, you know, obviously, you know, us professionals are here to help you, but you know, if you take the time to learn a new skill, you can absolutely, you know, take care of your hair on your own. Um, I wouldn't suggest trimming your hair on your own. Um, but everything else is, you know, pretty self-explanatory. It, it's not hard. It's not rocket science. Um, it does take a little time, a little patience, and, you know, for you to actually care for your hair. Um, <laughs> you're also going to see me doing a little jamming to Whitney Houston here. As, <laughs> as uh, she's definitely one of my favorites. So while I am finishing up the press here, let's talk about over-the-counter products. I am a really, really big fan of Cream of Nature's Pure Honey Lime. Um, I typically do my quote unquote wash and go, shampoo and go, however you want to word it. Um, I typically like to use their setting lotion along with their curl pudding. Um, you'll see in my, you know, wash and go videos, the, the exact products. Um, I also really, really like Softies Indian Hemp. Mm. treatment is like I mean people will say it is a grease but I also really like that I would say that also helped me um, retain my length um, along with doing protective styles um, wearing braids crochet doing sew-ins you know anything to try to keep as less heat and as less you know, friction on your hair as possible in order to maintain the length. So from here, we are almost done with the press. Have two sections left there at the top. And then you'll see we're going to switch locations where I have a little bit better light. So I can go ahead and proceed with trimming my ends. The one pass is all you need when it comes to having the right temperature on your flat iron. So as you can see here, my split ends are crazy. I had a lot of breakage. Um, you can see there in that clip where I showed you, it, it looks even, but it completely broke off with that last product that I had. So here you'll see me trimming my ends 
always typically at the nape your hair is going to be a little shorter it just depends on you know what you're doing I sleep on my back um, so I, I'm not surprised I have a lot of friction at the back of my nape um, here I cut off maybe uh, I would say between two and three inches in some spots um, my video cut off so I didn't really get the right side very good on the recording but obviously went all the way around so in the previous frame you'll see how my trim ended honestly I could have trimmed off a bit more but I decided not to here I'm giving myself a quick curl and here is the final product I hope you like my video as well as please subscribe um, I'm new but old to youtube and i'm looking forward to interacting with you all please let me know if you have any questions and i hope you all have a blessed one and thank you again please like share follow subscribe have a good one guys